stuff a lot of people don't, I guess, know about me. Um, before I really got into music, I used to illustrate a lot. I used to like draw like anime characters. I would write novels, like my own little novels. Um, so I would like to get back into writing books at some point when I'm done with the music thing, when I'm done trying to be a rock star. Um, <laughs> Um, but besides that, like right now, I'm working on my second uh, second album, which is going to be called "I Live, I Die, I Live Again." Um, and that an album is definitely, I feel like the album is definitely about how we all felt last year. It's an album that's about like mental illness and what happens when you die and God and like all these different things. Um, so I'm working on that, and uh, yeah, hopefully, you know. World domination. I hope is around the corner because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like we can pull it off. I just I have a really good feeling about it. So. I follow you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, um, I've been really um tapping into um the like uh, songwriting bag and the collaboration bag um, because they say there's no I in team, but there's a me. And there's an X. So I look at where I'm at. <laughs> I love it. And I, I try to do my best to self-improve so that when I do jump into the group, it maximizes the effect. Like, um, I'm glad my brother, you know, uh, BBG said something about, like, drawing an anime. Like, I actually have been drawing a graphic novel since I was 14. And I am finally finishing it. <laughs> I'm at the finale. And I've been doing, like, research on different concepts and drawing a lot, like, because drawing was my first artistic medium. And, like, sometimes, like, I would I would make a beat so that I could draw to it, you know, oh, nice. so that it could push me to keep drawing to it. Like, anywhere I would hit writer's block, I would go, okay, I, I can't write anymore. Okay, let me make a beat. Maybe that'll get me writing. Okay, this writing made me want to draw a picture. And if I wanted to understand what I was conceptualizing, research. A lot of reading and research. So what fans can expect is more creativity. Um, most of the music that I do do uh, and do have um, is on SoundCloud. So you search Danny Bars on SoundCloud. I have a whole playlist of all the collabs I've done over the past 10 years, 12 years. I've been at this for a while. So like, you know, shout out to Petty Game. Shout out to Reflector, shout out to everybody. Shout out to the pod, shout out to Slump Gang. Of course, shout out to the Lizzo Music Group, you know, for pushing this forward. But like, what the what the fans can expect is, is more. It's a lot more where that came from. I want to, like, that's what I'm doing is like expanding that. That like, if I if I have insight that gives, gives me to write some things that push people or, or motivate people, if I make music that motivates people and gets thinking, I am working, not trying to, I am working towards expanding that influence. Like, Living Water, I wrote that song. I helped write that song, and I'm going to sing the first verse. Yeah. And people didn't know that. Yeah. People didn't know. Yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, he can sing, too. And it's like, I, it, it's like, cause, um, I'm known in Chicago as Mr. Talented, and it's not because I'm talented. It's because I do what I'm asked to do the best I can. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That love that. Yeah, yeah. The best I can. Do. The best I can. Yeah. Um. If you uh, I, if you get a chance to um, get like um, if you're familiar with the song "Living Water," um, Lord Haiti and I, in collaboration with multiple other artists, some that are on the list, including Charmin John, Charmin John, Sleepy um, Brother, Sleepy Shout Brother, who's the um, no, no, Shoba, he doesn't. Yeah, not Shoba. Yes, he is. Not Shoba, who's also singing on the um. On the Electric Company record, like there's so much connective tissue yeah. throughout the the Realism Radio compilation, and I'm glad to be a part of that connective tissue because it allowed me not just to showcase my talents as an MC, but as a singer, composer, and songwriter. There's one thing I do want to say because we do kind of pride ourselves on everybody being a family and this big collective being a family. One thing that we do and have always done, whether it's during onboarding of a new artist or, you know, just to refresh everybody else, we let everybody know through a spreadsheet and just through conversation, yeah, Danny can write for you if you need a writer. Danny can dance in your video if you need a dancer. You know, there's several, everybody does something, like you said, outside of, you know, just their artistry and music 
there are a lot of photographers and yeah. videographers like T Rock is filmed in you know video. He's done creative directing on videos, you know, outside of being an artist himself, you know. So it's it's a lot. Charmin Jarman has done photo shoots for us, you know, in front yeah. of the artists. So we utilize everybody's talents, whether or not you guys can make the payments through cash, monetary, you know. Or if it's a bartering system where, you know, I'll dance in your video if you do just 16 bars, you know, stuff like that. So we, we, we do have a tribe. We are truly Legit. a tribe. <laughs> we, we make it work within, you know, our unit. Yeah. So I just want to share that.